All right. You want to hit some Marshawn? I know. I mean, what is there to say? That was a touchdown anyway. I mean, it was a bogus holding call. Bogus but dude, holding call. He was shot out of a fucking cannon. It I, looked like everyone else had stopped, but they didn't. Yeah. He just hit that edge and was gone. So <laughs> get some Marshawn Lynch. I brought him up some in the uh, I don't in our mock, startup Marshawn, mocks. I don't think Marshawn's ever looked faster. That was like crazy. faster. I mean, we've seen he's him. He's got four mode. or five speed. We've he's seen got him six beast speed. mode, but like that was fat. Like he he looked like beast he was mode. running at another speed for compared sure compared to the defense. And Absolutely. I love his t- his touchdown celebration. He's just straight up handshaking everybody. Just straight handshakes, not daps. Just just straight the gentleman, straight the forward gentleman handshake. Just one but little he, pump. He he looked ready to roll. I I think Derek Carr and this off this whole offense bounces back. I like what I saw with the limited ones snaps that you saw out of yeah, like the Raiders drive, offense. I think, I think you're yeah. gonna see a nice year for Amari. I think Jordy's gonna be a nice complimentary piece. I think Jordy looked quick if, enough. If Martavis could could get his shit together, he looked very fleet of foot in this game. Yep, made some plays. Um and then you got Switzer who's you know, maybe if Martavis can't get his stuff together, maybe he's he's the extra receiver over there. They still have uh Seth Roberts. Seth Roberts. Well, this this time last year, people were making fun of the 49ers for paying Kyle Juszczyk and these other, you know, quote unquote questionable pickups that Kyle that that Shanahan brings in and jo- and John Lynch bring in, and then one year and one year later, the 49ers go out there and win some games. Obviously, they got a quarterback, but they went out there and put some pieces in place and that nobody's being like, hey, why did they... Nobody's questioning the use check hire anymore. Right. Nobody's questioning the use check contract. They had cap room. They spent it on some pieces. that and Q, On a piece that is that crucial to that offense. Crucial to the offense. For the people that have been making fun of John Gruden for say that for bringing in a fullback and bringing in some bigger guys and saying he wants to run the ball... If you really think that John Gruden has been sitting around, what about all those quarterback videos he puts out? Right. He's like a film guru. He's an offensive play call guru. He's been putting out thousand yard receivers every year he's ever coached. If you think he's going to get out there and really hit you with a 1998 offense only, right? You're you're just not. Are, His brother's a head serious? coach in the league. Yeah, he's been the he's been the Monday Night Football guy for years, and you know what that does? You go to every single Monday Night Football oh, game. He's had a couple days unrestricted early, access to every team in the league. Basically, he's been in every team's basically game plan meeting for years. He's been in the damn huddle. He sits through those, you know, game plan meetings. He sits, every Sunday gets n- Monday night. Best, he gets the best of everybody's yeah. X's and O's for years, and you think and you're going to sit here. I and bet make, half of those guys were probably shitting. Yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. The other teams that are like, all about this. Everything, <laughs> <dang it." laughs> well, that's that's a breach of contract, right? That's a conflict of interest. No, I should have got a non-disclosure I mean, agreement. I, I, obviously, you need to get Mac back on the field, and you get Donald Penn back on the field. Solid uh, move, and he's down to play right tackle. How about that? Um, so you need you need some things to happen, but I mean, and and for the people who just love to hate Derek Carr, a guy was injured last year, broken back. Yeah, it's like, the eyeliner. That's why they don't like. There's it. I, I, there's. The you guy can hate on whoever you want to hate, but Derek Carr was just... Bounce back Derek Carr, baby. Derek Carr is uh, certainly a ginormous bounce back candidate. He was, as far as dynasty drafts go last year, he was one of those favorite young quarterbacks to pick up and put on your team, and now he's just... Nobody wants him. Nope. Yeah. He's just disrespected, and I think I think this Raiders team is about to have a, a, a nice little run in him here. They were they were the pick to challenge the Patriots for the Super Bowl a year ago. The The... The sexy pick yeah. for everyone to challenge is the Patriots. The sexy pick. And you know what? Their defense sucks. Hop on the offense in fantasy. Right. Shootout's coming. All right. Well, well I'll give you th- I'll give you two more on the running back situation. I think I think Richard and Washington both look good in space, as they have before. They're Washington not, looks solid. And, and Richard looks solid in a two minute drill. They both they've they've those are both in ba- in space backs. They're not workhorse backs. Um I don't know if they're gonna be worth anything this year. Probably not. Marshawn's probably going to be the lion's share of of the carry holder, but they're definitely going to be satellite kind of backs and just keep him on your radar. Don't completely forget about him. And then at the end of the game, you had Chris Warren from Texas coming in there, having some good runs, having some good success. I liked what I saw from Chris Warren. Yeah, some people are beating the drum for Chris Warren, and he's uh, he's a big dude. And the way this offense might set up, you got a bruising back in – and uh, Marshawn, obviously, who look, hopefully and looks like he's about to just dominate the backfield. We don't know exactly what we're going to get out of Doug Martin, but he's been up and down with injuries and all that through his career. 
And like you said, I mean, Washington and Richard, they're space backs and, you know, satellite backs, even if you right. want. I mean, Saddle, they, satellite backs, yeah, for sure. You know, so if saddle bags, <laughs> Warren is definitely a, a stasher in your dynasty league. Marshawn Lynch currently has an ADP of 111. That's right around Crowell, Stafford, Jordan Reed, Hines, CJ Anderson, George Kittle, Chris Thompson. Give me Marshawn Lynch. Let me Marshawn. get that. Marshawn. Glad to get some work and look so good. So much upside, and this offense can't go anywhere. Not a whole lot of Doug Martin but sightings. Up. Well, a couple of weeks ago, when we, we had did one rush, when we did one of our our running back mock it up, a mocks drafts. We were so much running back heavy. Jay Wayne was trying to get us to put Marshawn Lynch on the on the team, and we did eventually. In we one did in the receiver one. Like, I yeah. Think we oh well, no. I mean, if you're a great pick for a receiver one, but in this case, we had like eight running backs already. And Great we were zero ish RB guy. Yeah, we 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 were so deep in the running backs, and Jay Wayne was like, "Oh, we should take Marshawn." I was like, "I just can't even sit. We don't even have room for Marshawn." But if There's Marshawn, room, baby, if Marshawn's looking like that, yo, y- you're you're thick up at running pick back him already. Up. This pick guy him had up, this guy had over a thousand yards all purpose, but between rushing and and receiving, and seven touchdowns, and that's as bad as it was. Last year for the Raiders, right. Derek Carr with a back injury couldn't even take snaps under shotgun. Like or maybe under that was the year center. before with his finger. Yeah, it was the year before. Yeah, he's been beat up, but he's, he was he's he was a limited now. a shell of himself last year because right. you, you're playing through a back injury. Kind of came back almost too soon from that injury, and I mean it's always too soon from a back injury, ain't it? And Marshawn still had over a thousand yards and seven touchdowns. Like, yeah, total. Like that's that's solid. Yeah, I mean, it was a, he was a tough start from week to week because when you go back and Gave look at some, the game some logs, some zeros some, and ones zeros or whatever, and ones and twos and threes. In I there, get it. And then there's there's some decent games uh, mixed in there, but this year's going to be a tale of a different story with just the Raiders offense in general. Absolutely. Well, first of all, completely different regime. Right. Last year they thought they were the Super Bowl, you know, the dark horses, and they were saving him for the playoffs. And he was coming back off of his vacation. He had retired. And so now he's they he's they say he's in better shape than he was last year. Uh, John Gruden's in there saying we're going to pound the rock, and and he they're going to throw it enough to be able to pound the rock. It's going to be a complimentary system, and we said that last year. Casey brought it to me and brought it to my attention. Like there was zero complimentary football in that Oakland Raiders offense right. last year. Zero complimentary. When it was past time, it was past time. When it was running back time, it was running back they time. They got away from everything and they the were doing the year before. Was so e- it was so easy for the defense to be like, okay, this is a run play. Okay, this is a pass play. There was no hiding at Changed any offensive of it. coordinators and it was a mess. Nothing. And 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 Marshawn after they figured out the season was going downhill and they need the uh, the coaches were trying to save their jobs. Marshawn came on strong because they were like, we got to give this guy a ball. He can help us win. Yeah. And that's but so coming into this year, it's a fresh start. And Marshawn, mm. he's probably going to add to those numbers that Jay Wayne just called out. Marshawn might be about to eat. Feed him so Skittles. That'd be so awesome. Another sugary object. Skittles. <laughs> Skittles. All right. Well, that'll wrap up today's show. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty, at IMC Myers, at Dynasty Big Co, at Jay Wayne's World. We're on all your pod, pod, pod bean platforms of choice, all your podcast platforms. Pod bean, Google Play, Stitcher, Tune In Radio, iHeart Radio. Not, not Spotify still. Yep. Casey hasn't done anything about that either. <laughs> iTunes either. for sure. <laughs> Hit us up with that five star review. Por favor. Yeah, you make sure to check us check the YouTube channel out. Hit, subscribe. Hit, hit that subscribe on that thing. For sure. But then if you really we're we're not done here. We just went a dang near hour forty plus minutes here for free. Now we're about to get into some more over there on the Patreon. So head over to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. You can also find it from our website, the FF Dynasty.com, our satchel of everything that we have. We'll at, sprinkle a little rankings on in there. The more to come from that aspect, and uh, and and definitely check out the forums. Any questions you guys got, get in there. We got people answering each other's questions. We get in there individually and answer questions. So definitely go on there, check that out. FFDynasty.com/slash/community. That'll do it for today's show. Thank you for joining us. Till next time, you've been listening to the FF Dynasties. Married to the game. Unless you got five bucks. <laughs> Peace.